Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. Move between modules in Lightroom Classic CC, the film strip panel along the bottom of the interface shows the photos you are working with. The film strip behaves consistently across all Lightroom Classic CC modules, displaying photos from the currently selected library folder, collection, or keyword set. When the grid view is displayed in the library module, the image preview area always shows the same photos as the film strip. The film strip provides a control bar immediately above its thumbnail images. You can use the tools in the control bar to adjust the Lightroom Classic CC display in a variety of ways. At the far left end of the control bar, you'll see two buttons labeled 1 and 2. These icons can be used to activate dual monitor support in Lightroom Classic CC. If you do not have two monitors, the buttons can be used to open a second window in Lightroom Classic CC. This can be helpful if you want to work in two different views at the same time. You can click the second window button, labeled with the number 2, and Lightroom Classic CC launches a secondary display window. Clicking the second window button again closes the secondary view. To the right of the dual monitor icons, you'll see the library grid button. Click this button to instantly return to the library module grid view on your primary monitor. To the right of the library grid button, you'll see two arrow shaped go back and go forward buttons. Click these arrows to change between the current and previous Lightroom Classic CC views. For example, if you switch to the Develop module after working in the Library module, you can then click the Go Back button in the Film Strip toolbar to instantly display the Library module again. Clicking the Go Forward button will display the Develop module again in this example. To the right of the Go Back and Go Forward buttons, you'll see a line of information displaying all of the following information about the Film Strip. The Catalog, Collection, or Folder currently being displayed, the total number of photos currently held in the Film Strip, the number of selected photos, if any, and the file name of the most recently selected photo. If you hover your mouse over any photo in the film strip, the information in the control bar changes to reflect the name of the photo. If you click the downward pointing arrow at the end of the file name in the control bar, you'll see a pop-up history of your recently accessed folders and collections. You can click on any option in this pop-up history to instantly return to that location. On the right side of the control bar, you'll see the filter controls. If you do not see icons for flags and ratings in the control bar, then click the word filter just to the left of the filter menu to show all of the filters. Once the filter icons appear in the control bar, you can click any icon to filter the film strip display. You'll see icons for filtering the film strip by flag status, editing status, ratings, and color labels. For example, if you click the first star on the far left of the group of rating stars in the control bar, the film strip will display only photos with a one star rating. If you click the second star, the film strip will display two star photos, and so on. You can also set the rating is feature to the left of the stars to display photos that are greater than or equal to your selected rating, less than or equal to your selected rating, or equal to your selected rating. In other words, you could look at only three star pictures, or all pictures that are three stars or higher, or all photos that are three stars or lower. Keep in mind that filtering your catalog will become more effective as you add ratings, keywords, labels, and other data to your photos. To the right of the filtering icons, the filter drop-down menu offers additional options, including allowing you to save settings for future use as a custom preset. Just to the right of the drop-down menu, You'll also see the Turn On Off Filter button. This button is very helpful when you want to turn all of the filtering settings off quickly. When you turn the filters back on using this button, your most recent filtering settings are applied. Below the control bar, you'll see the thumbnail images of your photos in the actual film strip. To change the photos displayed in the film strip, you use the same method you learned in the previous lesson. In the library module, you can choose an item in a panel at the left side of the library module to display photos in the film strip. You can use the library filter bar options to filter the film strip the same way that you filter the grid view. You can also sort photos in the film strip by using the sort pop-up menu within the toolbar. To scroll through the film strip, use the slider bar at the bottom of the panel to click and drag. Alternatively, you can click and hold the small arrows at either end of the film strip to scroll. 
To change the size of the thumbnails in the film strip, hover your mouse between the top of the control bar and the toolbar until the cursor turns into a double-headed arrow. Then click and drag up or down to either increase or decrease the thumbnail image size. However, keep in mind that making the thumbnails too small will adjust the film strip so that some information is no longer visible. You can click to select an image in the film strip or hold down the control button while clicking to select more than one photo. Within the film strip, the active selected image will have a white matte border. Any additional selected images will have a light gray matte border. Unselected images will have either a dark gray matte border or a matte border colored to match the photo's label. Within the film strip, icons are used to show information about each photo. Icons appear on the matte border of each photo, which is often simply referred to as the photo's matte. For example, ratings that you apply will appear as icons in the lower left portion of a thumbnail's matte. If you apply a color label to a photo, the matte will change to reflect your label. Other icons also appear on top of the photo images themselves within the film strip. For example, the bottom right portion of a thumbnail photo will display badges indicating that keywords, cropping, or developing adjustments have been applied. Clicking a badge will open the image in the Lightroom Classic CC module that is related to that badge. You'll learn more about the badges and icons that appear on thumbnail images as you learn more about the features that produce the badges and icons. To make sure that film strip thumbnails display all of the information available, choose Edit Preferences from the menu bar. The Preferences dialog box then appears. Next, click the Interface tab at the top of the dialog box. In the film strip area of the tab, make sure that all the Show check boxes are checked. You may want to leave the Ignore Clicks on Badges option unchecked so that clicking on a badge in a film strip thumbnail will open the photo in the module related to the badge. When finished, click the OK button to save your changes and close the dialog box. Finally, keep in mind that you can show and hide the film strip panel itself by clicking on the triangular Show Hide Panel button at the very bottom of the film strip. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.